Hello my friends, so I welcome all of you light workers, star seeds and wanderers to this session wherein I have channeled the Pleiadians to answer about three questions in particular. So the first one is about the predictions for the year 2023 and they have given us some of the uh, predictions which they say uh, are going to change the whole planet and also uh, they have also given us uh, 12, uh, 12 predictions for 12 months. So they have, uh, they have divided it into 12 months uh, so it is easier to follow I believe and when you listen to the session you will hopefully understand more about this and the other thing that the Pleiadians um, have covered in the session is about the, the, the what happened in the meeting okay, with the Council of Planets and the Lucifer Collective so if you watched my previous videos uh, they have been saying that there is a meeting on Mars and what actually happened on Mars so we will, we will find that out today and the other thing uh, that the Pleiadians have shared with us uh, at this time is regarding uh, the past life of uh, Michael Jackson because you know I receive uh, many uh, emails and many people you know they wanted to know like what is happening with Michael Jackson not only the past life is covered but also uh, his soul's origin as well and also uh, his current incarnation so all of that has been covered and uh, also towards the end of the video they share with us a simple method which we can use at this time to raise our vibration ascend higher in consciousness and make 2023 the greatest year of ascension for all of us so uh, one more thing I need to tell you the predictions you know uh, they have they have divided in, 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 it into two sections one is the collective prediction of whole humanity and the other one is uh, the prediction for individualized uh, people okay for individualized people um, meaning uh, individual entities human beings right and um, and uh, before the session begins I want to say that if you want to know about your soul identity uh, about your soul's purpose about your soul name and and your past lives then you can send me an email and I will help you out um, the email is on here and also I want to say thank you to all of you for liking the video because it helps to reach out to other star seeds and light workers who need this information at this time. So with that being said, enjoy my friends. We are the Pleiadians and we greet you now in light and the love of the one infinite creator. We are communicating now in the light and love of the one infinite creator's presence through this instrument at this time. In order to share our love light messages that may appear in the form of thought forms in the vibratory sound complexes of your planetary sphere. We would recommend any entity that shall come in contact with these messages to use inner discernment and listen to only those thoughts that deeply resonate with the inner heart of the self. Before we address the queries, we have to state that the meeting with the Council of Planets and the Lucifer Social Memory Complex was in favor of the New Earth program that will be initiated which means that the Lucifer social memory complex for the time being have decided to not interfere with the progress of Earth. However, they may still be stationed on Mars. There have been agreements of non-interference of free will of Earth that has been decreed and accepted by them. Furthermore, the first query pertains to the future timeline of the Earth planet. We shall, however, 
before sharing such information state that since the future timelines are dependent on the vibrations of each entity and choices made by each entity during each moment that gives rise to the future in the year 2023 we shall share some of the events that will happen and cannot be avoided if human social memory complex doesn't change its vibrations we shall share this information both on the collective and individual level of consciousness so that each entity can understand this information with the inner heart of the self in the beginning of the year 2023 around the month of January there shall be an old so-called virus by your people that will re-emerge upon the earth planet which will again rise up because of the focus of the planet's attention upon it and there will be possibilities of the old situations and events which occurred in the past to happen again there will be many entities who shall leave into fear-based messages that will be spread from such events leading to more focus of attention on such events and this will lead to the raising of the conscious attention upon these events that will increase the intensity of these events in the month of February there are timelines wherein the earth planet will pause for a period of 15 days this pause will be caused because of a global pause to bring the transmission of a certain type of vibration across the various entities on the earth planet to a stop in the third month the earth's vibration will begin to reassemble itself and entities on the earth planet will have normalized lifestyles and will start to live normalized like like before if the attention is taken away from such events in this timeline there will be massive discoveries about the so-called lies and conspiracies throughout the various parts of the planet in the fourth month the human social memory complex will try to enter into the satellites of moon again with an in-house human entity in order to explore the surface of the moon however there will be severe challenges that could be faced due to unwanted changes in the mechanisms of the procedures used for such protocols in the fifth month the earth planet will have a change of belief systems due to a massive event involving the so-called Pope in your timeline that will bring forth newfound beliefs upon the self rather than upon any outside forces the human collective will begin to regain its power at this time in the sixth month we can sense large fireballs in the sky near an administrative center in the eastern portion of the earth planet in the location known as china which will cause changes in the systemic patterns of earth the so-called Chinese government will most likely collapse, leading the people of that region with unfounded freedom from oppression and regaining of free will. In the seventh month, there will be talks of centralizing all currency circulating on the earth. However, it will not go according to the plans made by the elites because the people who have awakened will wake the whole planet up against their plans to control humanity at this time. The so-called cryptocurrencies will reach their maximum value despite strong regulations against them made by the so-called governments of your planet in the eighth month an old battle will end that will bring a wave of relief amongst the human population 
in the ninth month the people of earth will begin to have direct contact with extraterrestrials from a location known as Sirius B in this timeline. This will bring forth the much-awaited interplanetary communication systems. In the tenth month, there will be a wait for events to happen, however, none will occur. In the eleventh month, an important political leader will change its course, and this will allow opposite sections of the planet to unite together, forming a more collective-like consciousness on Earth. In the twelfth month, the whole world will smile in joy. For the year that passed, the progress made and the new unfound liberation attains. On the personal level, there will be many catalysts and awakenings, which will happen amongst all the entities of the Earth planet. These challenges of catalysts will allow each to awaken to their full potential and awaken from their separation and awaken from their separate sense of attachment with their body and minds and they will begin to unite with their inner self by mastering living in the present moment furthermore there will be lights seen upon the moon which means that many entities will enter the moon satellite again in the time of 2023 that will allow the human collective to finally find evidence of extraterrestrial activity on the moon however some of these may be found in the beginning phases of this section of time the second event that we can share relates with the change of human consciousness to such a drastic level that the so-called events related with the communication systems will have a huge slowdown in a month in the middle of the year. Furthermore, there will be many opportunities for entities on the Earth planet in the year of 2023 to explore the inner self and connect directly with the one infinite creator's presence which will allow the entity to deeply align with the deepest sense of self and let go of the ego minds we shall now address the second query pertaining to the past lives of an entity known as michael jackson by your people whose incarnation had started on the timeline of 1958 and who crossed over in 2009 we shall now address this query related with this aspect and we shall state the answer to this question however we are permitted to only share one timeline of the past incarnation of the entity known as michael jackson that will allow for full understanding by your people we shall move backwards in time from this current incarnation and share information regarding the past lives of the entity known as Michael. Prior to this incarnation, it was found in the timeline around 1802, wherein it was known by the name of Walter. In your vibratory sound complex terms, wherein it had incarnated in the lands known as United States, wherein its main lesson was to overcome its desire to find true love. It faced many challenges due to this aspect of its inner self and was not able to truly find true love within its incarnation. Furthermore, after learning the lessons of this lifetime, it was then able to understand the desire was the cause of its psychological suffering, and it crossed over in the timeline of 1882. In this incarnation, it had practiced the art of donating the so-called money to other entities who needed it. 
which allowed it to use the universal law of the one infinite creator to create a large ratio of positive karmic balance. Furthermore, however, it was not able to reap the harvest of its positive karmic actions in that lifetime because it crossed over. This was carried forward into the next incarnation wherein it incarnated as the entity known as Michael Jackson. Prior to this timeline, it was found in the lands of China at the time of around 1645 and was known by the vibratory sound complex name of Ting, wherein it learned the basic lessons of interacting with other mind-body-spirit complexes in this incarnation, which further allowed it to master its inner vibratory rhythms to understand truly the use of language for communicating with other entities. This incarnation was of a true nature a tool which aided the entity in the journey of mastery of its true inner self. However, the basic distortion of the yellow ray energy center became imbalanced during this timeline that allowed the entity to face many challenges with regards to the ego mind. Prior to this timeline, it was found in the lands of Atlantis wherein it spent around 17 incarnation cycles. Learning the lessons of self-awareness which the entity had to master in this timeline, it was guided by many other higher density beings during this time period. The main lessons it learned were the lessons as later second density entity in the form of animals resembling dogs and prior to this period the entity was found in the planet of its origin at a timeline of around 988 million years ago in the planet of Mars wherein it was referred to in the language terms as AB which meant the child of the creator wherein it learned the essence of the first density consciousness as water element and later on as fire element therefore currently the entity finds itself in the planet of earth learning lessons of later third density again in order to learn lessons of love and graduate into the fourth density consciousness Hence we, the Pleiadians, shall now address the final query pertaining to a simple method which can be used at this time. Since this is the period of the end of the year of 2022, we, the Pleiadian social memory complex, would recommend the people of your planets to recognize that you have had a journey of transition of a higher nature you can look back at your old self in the form of memory in the beginning of the year 2022 and you can compare yourself at this time at the end of the year 2022 and you will find that you have changed drastically Many of you light workers and wanderers have changed to such a level that you will feel that you are a different personality because of the knowledge you have gained through this time, because of the self-awareness of the unconscious patterns you have gained at this time. You have awakened to such a higher level that the progress made by many of you is affecting the whole planet, as the whole planet dances in the light and love of this rhythm that which each of you has adopted in this time the adoption of light and love will allow each one of you to even move further in the year 2023 we congratulate all of you in your journey of transformation and if you have recognized
Any progress made, we must also state that you should congratulate your own self and be grateful for the progress made by yourself in this year. And we shall now leave you, beloveds, in lights and love of the one creator. Bye. Uh, so my friends, you know, after uh, watching the session, I hope you have gained some understanding about uh, the predictions which the Pleiadians have said uh, will happen in the timeline. And uh, also, you know, uh, they have divided the predictions it into 12 months. So I think, you know, uh, I think, you know, what we need to understand what they said is that this is just one timeline, right? There are infinite timelines and uh, based on our collective consciousness, you know, the events may happen or, you know, they may not happen. I believe uh, that, you know, the information that they have shared is uh, in the current timeline. So if we remain in this same vibration, then uh, these events will happen, right? And I think, you know, uh, I listened to it once and I felt like, um, you know, 2023 will be a mixture of positive as well as, as some negative events, okay? And I've, I felt that, you know, like, uh, I, I think, you know, like there will be some really positive changes happening in 2023 uh, if this same vibration continues. And I believe that, you know, we are at this level, at the stage of changing our vibration to a higher level. And also, you know, towards the end of the end of the session, in the Pleiadians said that uh, we need to just uh, look back at your at your own self um, in the uh, in the beginning of the year and look back at the memory of your own self and then compare it with uh, what you are today. And you will see a change within you. Okay, you will see that you know if you are doing this work uh, regularly, like all of us are doing. If you are practicing uh, what they have been sharing, then you will see a change within you. You will see that you know you have not only really changed drastically, but you but you have you know shifted uh, to a higher level of consciousness. And I realize this about my own self when I look back at my own self in my mind. Uh, in the start of the year, I, I had a different vibration and now I have a different vibration and I feel that, you know, I've learned a lot of lessons uh, in this year and I, I hope that, you know, many of you also, you know, have learned a lot of lessons, have awakened even more and also uh, the Pleiadians uh, shared information about the past lives of Michael Jackson, um, which I found really uh, interesting. Um, you know, in that Michael Jackson was a normal person. I mean, he was a—he's a normal entity. He's not a wanderer. You know, he's not a—he's not a being from a higher density. I—I—I I, uh, I mean, I would—I would think that you know, we would think that you know, like uh, famous people are from higher density. But uh, unfortunately, you know, Michael uh, was not from the higher density consciousness. Um, but you know, the thing I uh, found fascinating was that I remember uh, they said that Michael Jackson in one of his past life, you know, gave a lot of donations to charity. Uh, I believe he helped a lot of people. I believe he did a lot of service to others. And then um, he was not able to reap the rewards of that. So he passed away in that time. And in this incarnation, in the previous one, wherein, it, wherein he had incarnated at Mike, as Michael Jackson, he got the rewards. Like, you know, he became, he had a, I mean, he became wealthy, he became famous, you know, all of that, right? So I think, you know, uh, this just uh, goes to show that, you know, you cannot escape your kar karmic, um, you know, whatever activity, right? You, you have to, uh, you know, do your karmic activity from one lifetime to another. So I think, you know, this continues uh, in lifetime to lifetime. So if you do good today and, you know, um, sometimes, you know, the good will always come to you in this lifetime it happens within six months to a year but unfortunately you know if you don't see that then it will come in the next lifetime so i found that really interesting from this and the other thing is uh, the other thing that i learned is about the predictions right so um, basically you know they have given us 12 predictions for 12 months and uh, those were the collective predictions and the other thing is they said that there will be a lot of catalysts for individual entities to ascend higher so i think you know at this time we will receive even more um, opportunities and challenges to unify ourselves as a collective and i thank all of you uh, for joining me today and if you want to um, you know if you want to join me on patreon where i upload three sessions a week uh, where we do meditations 
uh, you are free to join the link is on the description and also uh, I want to say thank you to all of you who got the uh, booklet of my sessions um, um, which is around 500 pages so if you want to read it in a book format you can find it the link is on the description and thank you to all of you for sending requests for a past live sessions uh, to my email I can help and channel for you so with that being said I want to say thank you and I think you'll enjoy this video over here bye my friends